What's up, foodie fam? Adam, Lupe. Today we are visiting a place called Volcano Winery. Volcano Winery. Volcano Winery in the next to the Volcano uh, National Park here in Hawaii. They make their own wines here, but they also import. They said uh, California, Napa Valley Napa grapes. Valley, yeah, they do here. They also have a. They grown their own their own black tea here as well. One second, let me grab them. Let me show uh, you guys uh, some of the uh, the wines we we, we got. We got some of the stuff here. So they also it's like this really cutie place. It's like super rainy today, but she said that essentially like you know I told her we were from Rhode Island. Uh, Adam's from Mississippi, but in Rhode Island, this is our winter season. And in Hawaii, the winter season basically means they're a rainy season. So this is nuts. So we got some of these. This is a Pinot Noir. Um, this one is one of their Napa ones. Uh, they ran out of the ones that are local from, uh, they do grow um, red grapes here, do a, a Pinot from here. But they said sold out of the last bottle because the eruption happened and took everything out. Yeah, 2018? Yeah. And yeah. I mean, she said it had a smoky taste. It had a smoky <laughs> taste. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't a lie. Yeah. But one, they have two dessert wines. Um, I like both of them, and I'm a red guy. I'm yeah. a I'm a Grenache, I'm a Merlot, uh, Cabernet, but they have one that is a black tea infused, really good. And then they have that one you were trying. Yeah, there was a macadamia honey uh, that we're gonna uh, basically drink more of. So uh, we're about to go inside, guys, again because we drank a little bit. Now we're going back and have a little more fun, and uh, I'll show you guys kind of behind the scenes of some of the drinky drinks we had. And she also, the really cool thing too, guys, when you visit locals, ask them where they eat. That is 100% the rule to do because when you stay in the resorts, there's always going to be like a macaroni grill. Yep. yep. And a, uh, what was the other place we saw? I mean, we, some Burger Kings, McDonald's. Yeah, I mean, Burger all, King, McDonald's. You know, like, uh, why come to a place like this and not eat the, the local, you yeah. know? Um, not interact with the locals. I mean, uh, you know, and everyone's been freaking nice, man. Like way too, almost like it's a movie. Yeah. The waitress last night, we were at a place called, um, something, uh, uh, Bro big, big Island, uh, brew, brew house. house. Yeah. Yeah. The waitress there. I can't, you knew her name. Uh, uh Skylar. Skylar on point, giving us, uh, tips all around the Island. Couldn't have been sweeter. Uh, I'm telling you the locals here, I mean, you got to interact with them and they'll tell you the best places. To yeah. Go. And talk to them. And you know, if a little kindness goes a long way and yeah, guys, let, let's walk into this place, grab some, some wine, grab some cheese and let's make it happen. Yep. Holla. All right, fam. We made it. Volcano winery. Wine, ta Ooh, wine tasting. Oh yeah. We're here. We're ready to go. All right, guys, this is a, a little grove here. We're gonna see if they're open. We're hoping that they're open. Yeah, gates open. Gates open. Just need to make sure the bottles are open. <laughs> they got a little area right here. It looks like you can taste. Going down there, probably more vineyards. I don't know if the parking situation works, but. All right, we're going in. Wine tasting, we have two options. We have our classic plate. It includes eight wines out of one ounce, four of each for $12. Okay. And those are the eight wines. That's going to give you a good variety of dry to sweet, red and white wines, fruit blends, and honey meats. Hey fam, I wanted to jump in real quick too because I'm editing this video on this beautiful porch with the beautiful sunrise here. But I just want to give a big shout out. So the girl talking, um, I really don't capture too much of her face because um, I'm one of those people like I'd like to uh, ask before and I just didn't ask so I just got kind of her hands and you'll see in the rest of the video but her name is Kendall uh, she was absolutely amazing she gave us all the great like dope local spots to eat and we're literally running through them so we've eaten about half of them you guys will see in the next video uh, we'll, we're going to this place called Kenichi restaurant uh, kind of like in the in the neighborhoods of the Big Island in uh, in Hilo, and uh, she was just amazing. So I want to give her a shout out. Also, she's the one that runs the social media account on their Instagram at uh, Volcano Winery HI. So like hi for Hawaii. So all right, let's get back into the video. We also have a vintage plate which offers three Pinot Noirs at a two ounce of each for twenty dollars. Uh, two of the Pinot Noirs on the vintage are grapes from Napa Valley, from the Carneros region. Okay. And one of them is the State Road. Okay, very nice. Yeah. All right, he's more of the wine guy than me, so I'm going to follow his lead. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're probably going to do two of these. I'll do one of these. 
<laughs> if you want to do it, you can do it, Lupe. I don't know if you're down. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go that way. Maybe do a glass afterwards. Sounds good. Which wines are, um, so, uh, I'm mo mostly interested in the ones that are from grapes that are grown here, though. Yeah, so if you can call those out, because um, I want to take some home uh, for my wife, mostly. She didn't come on the trip, and <laughs> we, uh, we go wine, wine tasting everywhere. Can we get one of these? Uh, yeah, we're gonna grab one of these. Okay, uh, we gotta choose one though. You gotta choose a flavor. Oh, choose a. Um, Lean towards sun dried and basil. Perfect, yep. Yeah. Alright, there we go. There's the pasta. Yeah. Any gluten or nut allergies? Nope. No. Okay. You guys first time here? Yeah. First time here. Yeah. You guys live on the island? No, no. no. no where you guys I'm from Mississippi and he's from uh, Rhode Island. Nice. That's our homemade cream cheese, sun dried tomato, pencil basil, pasta, pasta. Very nice. So much. So I'm gonna start you off with the vintage flight just because they're gonna be the driest and we're going from very dry to very sweet. Okay. So you got three Pinot Noirs on the vintage. Okay. They're all right around the same dryness, so we're gonna go from the lighter body to the more full body. Sounds good. I'm sorry if it's hard to hear me, my mask is extra thick. That's like okay. Layers. <laughs> Okay, so first on the lineup is our 100% estate grown 2018 Pinot Noir. This is a really special batch for us. Traditionally, we get about 300 bottles every year. Oh, wow. Um, this one's extra special because these were the grapes on the vine during the 2018 Kilauea volcano eruption. Ooh. Do you still have any of those for purchase? This is actually the last bottle. Really? Get out yeah. of here. Wow, we feel special. <laughs> right? So, um, this one made it through a lot of different variables that it could have potentially really damaged the vines. We're so close to the volcano that we have such yeah. high levels of sulfur in the air and lots of ash fall. Luckily, the grapes had already fruited on the plant, so they Ooh. were not as susceptible to being damaged. So you are getting those flavors in the wine. It's sulfuric, it's smoky, it's got an earthy mineralogy. It does. You can, t you can taste the, the smokiness, yeah. Absolutely. We're also getting hints of tough cherries in there that's coming directly from our Pinot Noir grape. And that flavor is pretty consistent throughout different vintages of this grape. The first of the Napa Valley Pinot Noirs includes a 2017 Carneros. Something and interesting there, Lupe, if you look at the different, you see the difference in, in color? Yeah. And even the difference in the year of the two Carneros, the 2018 is even more dark. So this is the 2017, this is the 2018. Both are Carnero grapes. They're brought in, flash frozen, and processed and aged here. Uh, the 2017 definitely takes on more of the oak barrel. It's earthy, oaky, woodsy, <clears throat> hints of raspberries. The 2018 is a little bit more fruit forward, raspberry, black cherry tones, peppery, smoky, and definitely getting that earthy, woodsy tone as well. Plus between red and white wines, so we got water there if you like to rinse your palate. We're starting off with our Symphony Dry, made of 100% Symphony grape. And this was actually the first grape planted on site in 1986. It's a hybrid grape that UC Davis, California created by crossing Muscat with Bernard Brie. So they created a sweeter white grape, Symphony, that's going to offer peach, apricot, and lychee tones on the nose, and drink crisp and bone dry on the palate. Grenache is my favorite grape. I'm actually, my favorite wine is Grenache, more in a red, okay. and then GSMs. Thanks. Mm. That's going to be the closest we have to like a Pinot Gris show. Mm. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Another Pinot Noir. This grape is brought in from Loda in Central Valley, California. Yeah. And it's aged for four months in French Oak. So. A little bit more fruit forward than the vintages that you just tasted. This one's going to offer peppery nose with plum tones up front and then it's smoky and woodsy on the finish. Oh. So, what brings you guys to Hawaii? Mm. Um, I had a friend invite me and then he couldn't make the trip. So, it was, um, and then I invited a friend and he, luckily he could. Otherwise, I would have been here by myself. Okay. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> It kind of was a spur of the moment trip. And Literally spur of the moment. Yeah. I have another friend who actually was born in uh, Hilo. Hilo? Uh, Hilo. Um, he was born in Hilo. He invited me. He's coming up next month for a month. But he was born here. He has family here still. 
I had to make a decision which to come, and I, kind of, I guess I made the wrong because my other buddy couldn't make it, but. Mm. Make the most. Delicious cheese, right? Mm. Very addictive. And we've been on, um, me and my friend have been on uh, to a bunch of places in Colombia. Oh. Um, Been mm, been all over. So, uh, Nancy, the baker of this recipe, she used to work here. Yeah. And yeah, she left her recipe behind. That's very sweet. <laughs> right? Yeah. Color volcano red, it's a blend. We've got our symphony grape feature here with two California grapes, the Alicante and Ruby Red Cabernet. Yeah. And then we feature this local berry. Called Jabuchi Kaba. What's it called? Jabuchi Kaba. Jabuchi Kaba. It's from Brazil. Yeah, beautiful color. Beautiful color, grows right on the bark of the tree. Yeah. Um, so the skins are going to translate to this peppery, spicy tart tone. Mm -hmm. And then overall, we're getting some really sweet cranberry and a mixed berry blend flavor here. Kind of giving you the essence of sangria. Love me some sangria. Right? With a name like Volcano Red, I mean, you gotta get a bottle, right? <laughs> You're drinking Volcano Blood. Mm. Is that the name? <laughs> no, it's Volcano Red. Oh. Close uh, enough. That was a good name for a wine. <laughs> so Symphony Melon is the same symphony from that first white wine. But this is the sweeter rendition. So we left the grape on the vine a little longer, more sugars were formed, and then we shortened that fermentation. So this one will drink sweeter, sweeter, and more fruitful forward compared to that first rendition. Dip dip. Oh, there it is. I think I double double dipped it. Dip dip. Uh -huh. <laughs> match. All right, clean the palate. <laughs> is it your first time to the Big Island? I'll, I'll tell you that. So like, it was one of those things where I didn't want to visit because I've been to the Virgin Islands, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty much the same thing. It's not the same thing at all. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's I'm sweet. sure they're very unique in their own way, both of them. This yeah. kind of was a, a pear taste. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the pear, you know? That's a nice charcuterie board wine. Yeah. All the cheeses and meat. Hey, you like counteracts, yeah. The savory and sweet. Hot day. Hot day. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's good. <laughs> Just want to feature this cheese a little bit more. <laughs> right? Yeah. Here, it's like hour and you know an hour and a half and i didn't realize it was going to be like this i know it's the big island yeah. <laughs> it's it's a big island <laughs> yeah we were like starving last night so we we don't like to really eat at the resorts we like to go into the neighborhoods yeah. so i was like this place looks good plug it into the gps 35 minutes away i was like oh my god let's get a snack before right well, yeah. if you don't mind, at the end, I'd like to give you some suggestions. Maybe it's getting oh my god. Good. Every person that we've spoken to on the plane, they were like, um, I have some for you, but they're all closed right now. So if you know places that are actually open. Yes. Okay. Okay, some of them are only open for, okay, one of them I'm going to suggest is open for takeout and dining in. Okay, perfect. Limited seating. Yeah. But then uh, my favorite restaurant is in Hilo, it's only takeout, but it's okay. so perfect. That's fine. We got a big truck. Okay. We'll eat in the truck. Perfect. Our version of a rosé. Instead of using a uh, traditional red grape, we doubled the local berry. So the Jabuchi Kaba is at 30%. And then we've got our Symphony white grape at 70% as the base. Oh my God. And we actually call this our adult Capri Sun. <laughs> Very juicy and tangy up front, and then it's got that peppery, spicy tone on the finish from the skin of the berry. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Tell you, bringing home a couple bottles. Volcano blush, guys. I always pop Ooh. a bottle, a couple bottles. Got my body bottle. <laughs> Don't act like a sloppy model. I mean, guys, look how freaking beautiful it is here. It's a, well, I was filming this way. I was, no, I was just saying like, oh, how freaking beautiful it is. It's because right now in Rhode Island, it's all snow. And it's the yucky snow that's melting. So it turns into mud and it's just like, Black, uh, it turns black. Yeah, yeah, then the ice is not pretty anymore. I lived in Delaware for years. Oh, it snows there. Yeah. yeah. Kind of, are they still kind of close? Yeah. Same area. I haven't, I've. I haven't been I've to never Delaware. been to Delaware. You know, yeah. it's really weird because like, Delaware is considered New England. I think 
right? Is it the uh, lower end? When does New England stop? New England stops in uh, Connecticut. I don't it's, know. it's Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. Is that the 13 original? The 13 original, I think, is where you're going at. Is that what I'm going to? I think that's what you're doing. That was Virginia, which is not New England. <laughs> Delaware won the first game. Was it? Yeah. Yes. And Rhode Island was the last state. Really? In, in, yeah. Huh? No, I'm sorry. Uh, the 13 colonies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Symphony Grave with 60% of the local yellow guava. Look at that. And we puree the guava down whole. So up front we get the very tropical sweet side of the guava. Finishing nutty buttery part from the guava skins <laughs> and seeds. Very complex sweet wine right there. We were told, uh, so I was so excited on flights over here, you, you get like a cheers of guava guava. And we didn't get that, but then we realized that it's just on Hawaiian Airlines. And I was like, damn it, <laughs> all right. The little plastic cup. Yeah, you're like, oh, guava. Everybody gets a guava shot? Everyone gets like a, it's like a welcome to like Hawaii type of thing, yeah. That just teaches me. You'll get it on the what? On the inter-islands. On the inter-islands, yeah. That just teaches me that American needs to step their game up. Yeah, American, Amer- where you at? American <laughs> Airlines. Where's the guava? Yeah. Oh. Now the last is fermented honey. And this is going to be locally sourced macadamia nut honey from Big Island Beans. Although there, although it's magnet honey, there's actually no nuts processed. So it's a, the, it's a dessert wine. Yes, it's a dessert wine. Mm. Um, the honey is actually coming from Big Island bees, which is surrounded by magnet trees. Mm. So when the trees are flowering, <laughs> those bees are going to pollinate from that magnet blossom. So yeah. that's how we get magnet honey. It's so cool. It's going to be honey sweet with a nutty essence on the finish. I like what you did there with uh, the cracker. You did a reverse. You like that? Yeah, <laughs> instead of you spreading it on the cracker, you use the cracker to, sp- yeah, it's a reverse. I'm thing. a professional you, beauty, brother. You flipped it. <laughs> a little meat. How was it? All right, guys, so macadamia nut. So basically, she was saying when the bees go around, they go off of the macadamia nut. And then they also use the macadamia nut. And they use the macadamia nut. They like doubling the macadamia It's a double trouble. It's a, it's a double dip mac. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, see, I like that. Um, I love honey. It's like a problem. <laughs> Fusion tea wine. This has the magnet honey mead that you just sampled as the base. Ooh, black tea. This time it's infused with black tea. So we grow a little over two acres of Japanese tea on the property here. How big is the property here? Around 64 acres. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. You so, only have six. <laughs> I have zero. <laughs> A lot of the land is untouched. Yeah. A lot of it's like native forest, so it's just... My dad's half Hawaiian. Oh. I'm a quarter Hawaiian. So I went to college here. I started in 2011. Oh, wow. So uh, May of this year will actually be my one, my 10 year anniversary of being here. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice. So, yeah. It's a lot different than Delaware, I'll, I'll say. <laughs> I only lived there for a couple years. Yeah. yeah like grade my, school? Uh, for high school. I graduated cool. high school there. Mm. Yeah, so I moved there um, when I almost finished 10th grade. Yeah. Ooh, but you got it, too. And just know, we filmed plenty of sun today. And, uh... <laughs> Is it always like this? It's off and on, off and on, off and on? So, um, Hawaii's winter season is also our wet season. Oh, no, that makes sense. Here's salute. So that's our black tea and peas, mac and honey. Let's go out. Both of the last two are really interesting. And like a dessert wine is usually overly sweet. I don't like overly sweet wines. But the last one was yeah. not sweet, but like, you know, it had the honey. And this one too, you have that black tea taste. Yep. You know? But, yeah. Definitely unique. That's how I describe yeah. the two of them. Definitely unique. Yeah. That's good. I'm gonna start drafting you up all my favorite restaurants. All right, please. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna do a couple glasses. You're doing a couple glasses? A couple. So I said I mean three. <laughs> I think a couple means three, right? <laughs> Winery. <laughs> what can you say? 
Volcano Winery, man. We want to thank the staff here. They were freaking amazing, even though it's like crazy raining outside. But it's beautiful, guys. I'll try to get some footage. You want to drive up that thing? Uh, what it's thing? Like she said you, we can go up like 100 yards up the vineyard and then turn back around. But we want to thank the staff here. Amazing staff. If you guys are ever on the Big Island. Volcano, the volcano National Park. The Volcano National Park. There's a place called Volcano Winery. And you can check them out on Instagram at Volcano Winery HI. I'll tell you, the cheese plate, there was an eruption going on <laughs> in my mouth. The, the cheese and crack? Yeah. <laughs> it was, I was like, that's a great name. Um, but it was, they, it's a local cheese that uh, an ex-employee used to make. And then they, when she stopped working here, passed they, down the recipe. They passed down the recipe, and it's amazing. So they make their all their cheese and stuff here. So guys, definitely check them out. That was that was bomb.